have you ever wondered what's going on in the cow's rumen? If only you had a way to monitor that so you knew what kind of forage to put them on next, or what to keep them off of, or how to rotate them as far as how fast. Well, there is. Just using some simple urine pH strips, you're able to check the cow's rumen and see what's going on inside the cow. This can do a few things for you. Like I mentioned, if you do intentional grazing or rotational grazing, um, this will help tell you how fast to move the cattle. If you're moving them fast enough or if you're moving them too fast. Um, pretty simple to use these. One of the main things you want to concentrate on though is to make sure that you do not get your sample directly off of the ground. Try and get it off of a blade of grass. And I'm going to demonstrate here real quick how to do this. Watch out big guy. Watch out. Step back. Come on. Look out. Okay, so now what we got to do is rub this pH strip. You can see there's a couple things there on the bottom. And we're just going to get the sample off of this wet grass. You don't want to get it from the soil because the soil will change the pH. And there's what we've got. Now we'll check that with the scale. Yeah, that's right. We're checking your urine. If I was to compare it to any, I would compare it to an 8. So the pH is a little high. We should be right at 7. So this tells me what they're eating is very, very green, high in protein. So I need to get a little bit more dry matter mixed in with their, with their feed. And if you look across here at what they're eating, there is a lot of green. Very high in protein. So there's a couple options I have here. I can move them to pastures with more dry matter mixed in. I could offer a bale of hay. Or I could move them a little faster. And I think that's what we're going to opt to do is to move a little faster. So these pH strips can tell you a lot about the cow's rumen and how things are working inside. So it's a good idea to monitor it. So see, it's not that hard. And uh, I'll go ahead and give you some clues on when the best time to catch them urinating. And that is right after they get up from laying, laying down, chewing their cud for a while. Usually a few minutes after they get up, they're going to relieve themselves. Um, I spent, after I got these strips, I was pretty anxious to get up here and give it a try. And uh, I came up here that day all excited about trying it. And I sit up here for probably a half hour. And I've got 34 head here. And, and nobody wanted to take a, take a leak for me. So I didn't get to try them that day. So a couple of days later, I was up here and kind of forgot about these. But I carried them with me on the ATV. And uh, somebody just happened to go pee-pee, and, and I had my strips, and I was able to try it out. So, anyway, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up, and thanks for watching. And hey, if you haven't subscribed, please take time to do so.